Hey guys, Brian Lebo here with your April Summerlin update video. If you like what you see, please click here and check out my April Las Vegas update video where I go more in depth about the overall market, which in turn actually affects Summerlin real estate as well. Okay, first up are last month's resale home sales. Last month we sold 119 homes in Summerlin. While this was a big jump from 97 in February, it was actually a 14% decline from last March when we sold 139 homes. Now, this is very interesting for a couple of reasons. First, this makes for 18 straight months of declining year-over-year -year sales. Now, what's disturbing is this. While we in Summerlin were down 14% for last March's sales, the rest of the valley saw a 5% increase in sales last month from March of 2014. Okay, now let's check out our inventory levels. As you can see on the screen right now, last month we had 558 homes on the market. This was a 10% increase from last month when we had only 500 homes. You can clearly see that every month this year we've managed to increase our inventory. Much like with last month's sales, this is the complete opposite from what the rest of the valley is seeing right now. While our inventory is rapidly increasing, the rest of the valley has seen 18 out of the last 20 weeks decrease in inventory. So much that the valley's inventory has decreased over 1,000 homes just since the end of October. Now, before I make sense out of all this, let's break down the inventory for a second. 6.1% of our market are short sales, only 1.4% of our market are foreclosures, and a whopping 92.5% of our market are traditional sales. Now, this is great since our short sales and foreclosure levels are literally half of what the rest of the valley is seeing. Okay, now let's make some sense out of these analytics. While the rest of the Vegas Valley is seeing an uptick in sales and inventory decrease, we're seeing increased inventory and sluggish sales. So what gives? As I've said for almost a year now, more than half of the current inventory consists of delusional overpriced sellers. Ask any realtor or buyer who's recently been looking for homes and they'll confirm more than any place in Las Vegas, some of the homes, especially new homes, are so overpriced, it's almost laughable. Unfortunately, it's a cardinal sin for new home builders to lower their prices. Instead, they'd rather give the farm away. Just this morning, I received an email from Lennar promoting their final six homes that they're desperately trying to sell. As you can see on the screen right now, they're willing to pay all of the buyer's closing costs, buy down their interest rate, pay off the entire SID, pay both the Summerlin HOA dues as well as the sub-association dues for a year, throw in a washer and dryer, and provide window treatments. Now, price right, these homes should sell themselves, especially in West Summerlin, which is one of the highest search zip codes in all of Zillow. See, prices in Summerlin just shot through the roof, and in some of these locations, it just went too high. Now that buyers aren't pressured like they were before, they're looking around and seeing that some of these prices simply don't make sense anymore. Slowly, we're seeing new sellers take good advice and list their homes for realistic prices. But I'm seeing more delusional sellers in Summerlin than any place else. Now, while I believe the demand from buyers is certainly there, as long as we continue to have so many overpriced sellers out there, sales are going to remain sluggish. The more overpriced homes sit out there, the more the inventory will continue to just stack up. While the rest of the city is starting to get more realistic about their values, I think we're still behind the curve a bit. Now that the median prices haven't really increased since last July, and the media is starting to report about all these overpriced listings, we're going to see sellers become more reasonable in the next few months. The more reasonable sellers become, the more brisk our sales will be as well. Now, ultimately, the market is fantastic out there. There's plenty of buyers, and I've seen many homes in Summerlin sold within a week lately. If your home's been sitting on the market for months, it's pretty simple. Either your agent isn't marketing it correctly, or it's overpriced. Many times I see both of these as issues. 
The days of buyers paying more than the last guy, it's just over. Look at what the last sale went for and then be realistic about your own expectations from there. Well, that's it for April, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please click here to subscribe and have a fantastic month. Mm -hmm.